Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Ricky Fashion Icon. My name is Ares. And um, before I go into anything, first I want to thank my subscribers. I finally hit 1000 and it's odd because I don't know, I thought YouTube was going to be one of those things where you just start and just get tired and just burn out. But apparently, this is my 31st post and I finally hit 1000. Seriously, thank you so much, guys. I I didn't know I was going to get this far. I thought I was going to get tired or frustrated or something because I know how I get when it comes to these type of things where I'm put in a point where people are watching me and stuff. I always get uncomfortable. And it's weird because I am actually a lawyer, but I, I never like being in those type of situations where I have to like debate or argue or like speak to a crowd. I always freak out. I'm always nervous. So. I guess maybe it's um I don't know I've always been like that because if I if I think if I try to remember why I actually started a channel I think it was more about me learning than even me teaching anybody because I had to learn a couple of things so I figured the one way I could learn all these things at once I had to pick something that kind of cuts across it because I had to learn leather craft I also wanted to learn photography videography and I was like hmm let me do something that would push me would make me leave my comfort zone and do something so that was oddly why I decided to start a channel and maybe that's why I didn't know I was gonna get this far because it was um it was a process for me as i was making posts after posts and i was realizing like oh i could specialize in this but also do this so talk 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 welcome to my channel again today i'm actually doing something simple i i'm making a belt it was actually um ordered by a client so i've had um, a few of my subscribers ask me how I make my belts and I'm like it's pretty simple maybe it's because of the way I do it because for one is I don't buy like leather sheets and cut straps I don't maybe because I don't get enough from um, orders so what I do is I just go to the leather and craft market and I just get straps already made okay this one I'm gonna show you soon I had to punch the holes I had to punch the holes and do this part also but sometimes if you are actually lucky enough you would actually get the ones that are already um, they're already perforated everything set the only thing left to do is just put the buckle and you're ready to go so I um, I have just one camera so I had to shoot some things before this because I wanted this to just be one long take I'm trying not to cut my videos too short so let me just talk. I'm going to do like a um, B cuts and everything. I'll show you the process. So I'm just gonna talk you hard through it. I'm gonna talk you dry, do it. Why am I like this? Okay, so first I actually got this strap plain. And the method I use, okay, this is a small belt, it's for a lady. If it was a bigger one, you would have needed more rivets. But for this small one, it's um about um slightly uh, more than one inch wide. So I just got the strap, the buckle. And I had to make, I'm going to show this also, I had to make um, a strap holder. This is not always compulsory because sometimes the buckle, this is a half buckle. This is a half, <laughs> sorry. This is a half buckle and sometimes they always come with this um, strap holders. But this one did not come with any. That was why I decided to make this. So my process is this. Let me just walk you guys through. So first, I mark the holes down but um, I didn't have to do a lot of um, finishing on this one because everything was already um, burnished and painted and whatever but if you get a strap and you need to finish up the edges you should finish up your edges you don't want to carry anything that's sloppy or half done and this was for a customer so I had to take my extra time then the standard is five or six holes so I just use six holes I my client is pretty, he's pretty skinny too, so she's pretty skinny so I had to just um, put six and room for more if she wants it. So, And for the front, this is actually at your discretion and this is based on the size of the buckle you're using. If the buckle has um, 
if this point of the buckle is pretty thick then you should give more space and because i'm using just one rivet so I I had to turn off my camera. I don't know if it was a weird when it was overheating. So let's do this. Let's couple this baby. So first, what you want to put is this part. Let it slide down first, and then you take the buckle. So normally you're supposed to use um, a rivet setter, but unfortunately. I don't have a rivet set in this size so what I'm going to use is is a little brutish but it's it still works anyways it's where you just flatten the rivet totally like you get rid of the concave and curve and everything so I'm just going to lay it down I'm sorry I'm trying to put my punching board to just do some elevation here and I am, today I'm using my heavy hammer. I need to get this with just a few strokes. Not a not have this thing shifting on me. So let's do this. Shift, get out of the way. Okay, so I just flattened this down. Because I do not have the actual size in the rivet setter, so I didn't want to just have a weird shape. So instead, I just flattened this down. And in a way, I like this also because you're going to have the strap going through here. So you want it to be as smooth as possible. Oh, hold that so tight. So it's the simplest thing that you would ever have to do in your life to get yourself. A functioning belt. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll leave the description down below. I'll see if I can make like um, diagrams and stuff. What I did in my last post, but this one's gonna be free, just for how to get the measurements for the different waist size and stuff like that. I think I should do that. That would be nice. Yeah, I'll do that in honor of my first K. Yeah, I'll do that. Thanks for watching my video on how to make a simple leather belt. This is actually made from vegetable tan leather and it's going to last you a lot of time. So thank you for watching my video and I hope you subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Sorry, I, I spaced up. I hope you um, subscribe to my channel and if you like this video, you can comment down below if there's anything you want me to make. I am open to any idea within Lettercraft. Don't come and tell me to do that. I'm open to any idea. I would love to hear from you guys. And you could also hit me up on Instagram at Aries Atelier. Aries underscore Atelier. And my personal page is at Aries Upman. No underscore. At Aries Upman. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in my next post.